Most pediatric neurosurgeons believe that a cranial synostosis should be fixed. With the minimally invasive, it's simply removing the fused suture. If you have cranial synostosis, that suture is actually fused and should not be because that's where your brain is allowed to grow. So we actually want that to be open. And when it's not is when it actually causes the abnormal head shape. Children with one suture fuse could have increased intracranial pressure, which means pressure being applied to the brain because it couldn't grow right because of the suture being fused. So that's why most pediatric neurosurgeons believe that we should do this, is to prevent um, any injury to the brain. A minimally invasive procedure relies on more of brain growth than the open procedure does. So the younger that you get to them, the more the brain will actually develop the skull the way it's supposed to. A good candidate would be a child that's usually less than three to five or six months of age. If the child has a classic head shape for that cranial synostosis, we don't need an x-ray, so we don't get them. The pre-op visit is just basically to make sure their pediatrician believes that they're healthy enough to undergo the procedure. The child doesn't need any pre-op medications to help their hemoglobin because the blood loss won't be as much. We are making a suture um, that was not supplied when the baby was in, in the womb. So the bone is, is removed for this, but unlike the open procedure, we don't do any shaping. We allow the shape to form by the brain growth as well as the helmet that is worn after surgery. It can take an hour to have this done, whereas the open procedure can sometimes, depending on the suture, can take up to three to six hours. The blood loss is quite less, so the blood transfusion rate is much less. The incisions are much smaller than the open procedure. Sometimes, depending on what suture, can be one incision. But that also means that their recovery time is much less. They will be in the intensive care unit only one night, and most of these children go home the next day, which is um, very unusual for the open procedure. They're usually in house two or three days. Most of their swelling will be gone within the first week, and most parents will state that they did not require any pain medicine all afterwards. We still need to shape the head afterwards. We believe that they should stay in a helmet for 12 months. And that just helps the brain as the brain is growing mold into that shape that you want. The kids do great afterward. The cosmetic result is excellent. The incisions look great. And, and the bone fuses back beautifully and normally. Her head shape uh, looks wonderful. Just a happy little girl meeting all of her developmental milestones. She's just a joy.